Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 30 of the Hardcore Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. Hey, that's pretty good man. Got myself a second black mask. I guess I'll turn this into another Slayer home or something. Just for the hell of it. Oh yes, I now have my first ever Necro task. Why does it always take at least like one Slayer level, you know, past the minimum level to get the goddamn task? Okay, 131. I will see uh, what the loot is like. It's gonna be most likely super impressive. I have not done a hard clue in ages as well. So it's time to, uh, you know, get back into some of it every now and then. Really want to make sure my slur grind doesn't, like, make me go insane. So there goes nothing, man. Please reward me uh, decently. Here we go. Oh, man. All right. And that's my first Necrail task done, and I, of course, did expect quite a bit of a, a whopping earning, you know. I've done a test before on my normal Iron Man when uh, they first got released, but yeah, I never did like an actual Slayer trip though, worth of stuff. So, this is like 130 kills or so worth of items. I didn't pick up some seeds though, but they're not that important, you know. I got the big boy seeds like Snapdragons. Look at this. Still pretty good. I mean, it's almost 700k. I mean, out of that 700k, it was pretty much the bulk was just coins, which is crazy. As good in GP, like physical GP, as gargoyles. But these guys are honestly, you know, a bit better to kill. They have more uh, variety of drops, so really nice addition to my sling repertoire, though. Nice. So I've already talked about this topic before on my normal Iron Man, but I'll talk about it again. But this time, I'll put up the stats of both the Power Amulet and the Amulet Glory on the screen, so you guys can see for yourself. So, so many guys are so, I don't know, obsessed with me getting a glory amulet that you guys fail to realize that the difference between the power amulet and the glory amulet is so marginal. It's barely anything. So, I will just be very specific. So, as you can see on the screen with your own eyes, the glory amulet is barely any better than the power amulet. The only thing the glory amulet has over the power amulet is really that uh, slight accuracy bonus. Which, for my goal of grinding out Slayer, isn't important, to be honest. The plus 6 accuracy the Power Amulet gives me is pretty much more than sufficient. So as you can see, the strength bonuses for both the Amulets are exactly the same. My max hits doesn't change whether or not I get the Glory Amulet. So with that being said, do I want to spend 10 to 20 hours training my stats to get a Glory when I already have a Power Amulet that does the same exact thing for what I need it to? No, why would I do that? But of course, I'm not saying I'm not going to get the Glory Amulet. I would like to get it, but that will be something for later because it's not that important right now. And anyways, in preparation for the potential crafting grind, I am collecting daily sand from Bert every day. And also, I'm going to be doing the uh, Varrock Diaries uh, today all the way to medium so I can buy my daily battle staves. So that way, if for some reason I somehow manage to survive all of Zora and I get the drops and I don't have to worry about doing Zora anymore for a while, then I can have some, you know, peace and quiet time to maybe uh, train my crafting up for something like a glory or a fury. Sweet. Okay, managed to get myself a few more antique lamps. Gonna be putting this on herbal as usual, but I need a 50 plus for the Vag Diaries easy. And that should be the last easy Vag Diary has completed. Yes. Okay, moving on to medium. Okay, almost got every task complete. Just gotta do two more quests now. I gotta do the, uh, Balloon transportation and a soul's bane. Get those out of the way and we out. Well, I managed to get myself a Tazar task, finally. And yeah, now that I have so much better gear and on task, this should go by very easily. So let's see what my new record is. I think sh this should be good. Oh shit, what? Okay. Never mind. Let's not try to flick Jad. I haven't done it in enough times. Alright, we still have half of a prayer even though I was inflicting most of the time but that worked out very nicely I think the last time I did this on the hardcore was uh, an hour and 50 so this was an hour and 17 wow here we go let's bargain for the pet I'll laugh my butt off if I get it yes let's gamble Da, you're not lucky okay well I should be doing quite a bit of uh, jad task though on the way to 87 so I'll have more chances to uh, gamble for the pet and also get some amazing sir experience. Oh man, I totally forgot that the whole Sidious Bank 
is actually super super close to the dust devil so sometimes i do run out of space because you know i can't be outking when on ancients but luckily the hole at uh, this spot here at Osidius is literally right next to the dust devil so yeah super convenient so i got a neck gray arc superior and i thought it was going to be a lot harder but honestly all you gotta do is protect from melee and when the uh, death spawns uh, spawn you just gotta run away to the point that these guys are de aggroed and then you come back protect melee and just kill this guy and i guess if he spawns it again like now we uh, run away and uh, should be good after yeah they have now de aggroed and then we just come back for the kill i actually missed one because you know i was kind of scared but yep after trying it out it's good one of the easiest superiors honestly I mean easier than freaking gargoyle just got 82 slayer man while doing a lot of raids of course luckily I got that in recording but yo five more levels to go 251k okay it will be amazing if I can get 83 slayer in two days that's the goal I guess wow I totally forgot that I was very close to freaking 100 combat but with 73 defense that I just got, I actually uh, got 100 combat pretty much on the dot right there. Freaking triple digits combat on this guy, you know. That's a great milestone to be reaching here on this hardcore. Yeah, I ain't dead yet. Alright, almost time for Jad. Here we go, guys. Jad is spotted right there. Yeah, Alright, there we go. That is second Jad test completed. Dang, that put my slur experience from like 200k down all the way to 166 really nice got another cape to exchange so uh yeah here we go ah you're not lucky okay ah nice just hit 84 magic guys getting quite a bit of dust double test now which is amazing 307k to 85 but this is starting to speed up quite a bit you know getting really good tasks this uh slur level so that's really good a nice enlightened journey done all i gotta do is souls bane and then i can finish rack medium diaries very nice and that is the last quest i need that should be everything done medium task complete guys hell yes so it's time to get the rewards i haven't even gotten the easy diaries yet so here we go let's get that diary and i'm not gonna get the second upgrade just yet because i think i should be able to uh Buy some battle staves uh, here, discounted. So here we go. I'm able to buy a few, 15. And now I'm going to get the second one. And I'm hoping that by getting the second one, that stock will just reset and I can just buy myself 30. So let's just try this out. Hopefully this thing doesn't run out of stock. Oh, it did. Okay. Well, anyways, I can start buying 30 uh, battle staves daily for pretty cheap. And I might as well have all this cash and I'm not really going to be spending it. And I'll be getting so much more, you know, as I do Slayer. So yeah, that will be uh, for the eventual crafting grind if I ever do get to it. Hey, nice. Just got 86 range. Freaking lowering the Ankus for a Slayer task. But uh, yeah, not bad, dude. Really good range levels. Going to need that for Zora for sure. Oh yeah, just a heads up about totem pieces. So if you've been doing a lot of slayer tasks at the catacombs you can actually only have pieces to make a totem one at a time and the totem parts always drop in order from the base to the middle and then to the top so if you do get the top drop that means you have the other two pieces already and you need to combine them if you want to get any more other totem pieces or else they're not gonna drop anymore so as you can see i have saved up a lot of shards at the moment ancient shards and people ask me why I haven't used them yet to do Slayer. Well, to be honest, the only Slayer task that's demon related that I currently do is basically Greater Demons. And honestly, I'd rather not use charges on Greater Demons because it's not worth it. If I do get around to using the shards, it'll probably be used to uh, camp for a whip or to kill Abyssal Sire if I ever like get around to that. I'm not sure yet, but if I do, you know, that's what the arc is going to be for. And as for the totems, I actually, you know, have quite a bit as well, 12. I probably will just go on a like Haraku scroll spree or something one day and just get rid of these. So I guess the earliest use with the art lights is definitely going to be to uh, hunt for the whip once I get to 85 Slayer. Wow, these low-key milestones, man. Like, I 
can barely notice it coming, dude. Just got 1550 total. Just making some broad bolts, you know. I got some cars tasks, but damn, didn't expect that. That's pretty good. I'll be honest, my total level has not changed too much, so I really didn't expect another uh, in game, like, you know, milestone. But hey, that's nice. What? Holy shit, I just got another Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. Okay. Hell yeah, I guess I'll just use this for a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. These things are like super rare. I I'm pretty sure I haven't really killed enough of these to really be hitting the average. So yeah, that's my second one. Yo, just got 75 cooking, so I pretty much ran off uh, my cooked monsters that I cooked like months ago. And yeah, I'm back at it again. I had 2k raws monkfish in the bank for a while so might as well cook it I did burn a bit but that left me with 1.8k cooked more fish i think honestly that's enough for 87 slayer so should be good on food now so i am still 82 slayer but i am almost there to 83 though i need 58k slayer experience to go so hopefully i can get it by the end of tonight and hopefully by the end of this week i will have 85 slayer or get super close and that'll be amazing because, you know, that's where the action begins, where I get the whip, and then Slayer's just going to become uh, quite a bit more fun, you know, with that whip. But after tonight, I will be getting the Dragon Boots most likely. But I will be wrapping up the video here, guys, because I don't think I'll have time to uh, edit the video tonight. So I'm moving back to my dorm today because school, second semester, is starting tomorrow. But I don't think it'll affect my video making too much, so don't worry. Uh, it should still be like a video every, you know, three to four days type of deal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, feel free to give the video a like as well. And if you are new to the series and you want to stay up to date, definitely subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know exactly when the latest episode will come out. And lastly, hope to see everybody soon with another video in a few days. Take care.